Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here with Zion Unleashed with another word of encouragement for you this morning. Uh, you know, one of the things that I love to do is to travel when I get a chance and I always uh, have loved to be able to go out to the mountains and actually was able to go out there one time. We've flown over them a couple of times, but uh, being able to drive up into them was really cool. Uh, one of the things that, though, I remember one of the first times that I was going into the mountains and I was actually going out with uh, my grandparents. And um, we were we got to a campground and we were camping and it was really cool getting up in the morning and seeing this big uh, white-capped mountain off in the distance. And, and we were going to be heading that way. So away we went and we were driving, it seemed like, forever. Uh, and not getting anywhere, it just seemed like... Uh, you know, I couldn't wait to get up into the mountains and to get up high and be able to look. And uh, my grandpa, you know, the car came around a curve and I looked out the window and I was amazed because we were way up, we were way up above the valley that we'd left. That, the town that uh, we'd come from was just this little speck way down there. But the, gra the, the road was so gradual going up into the mountain that I didn't realize that we're even really climbing that much. And... Uh, then I looked and was like, wow, it's amazing how far we are up. Uh, you know, sometimes life is like that. Sometimes God is like that. We, we, uh, we go through life and, you know, if you're like me, uh, he's given us so many promises. He's blessed us in so many ways. And yet there's certain things that we want and we pray for and it just seems like we don't get them. Uh, and it gets discouraging. Let's be honest, it gets discouraging. Uh, but I think sometimes what we need to do is we need to look in the rearview mirror and we need to look back and just see what God has done because uh, sometimes we get so discouraged by looking forward. Uh, sometimes it's foggy. Sometimes it's just um, discouraging. And we need to take a look and just look back and go, oh, wait, now I can kind of see how some things are. Uh, it's even like that uh, now. I was just talking with a couple of people um, about this whole thing with the virus scare and, and all the things that our minds are just focused on right now. And we were talking about how many good things are happening as a result of this. Obviously not the illness. I don't, I don't mean in any way, shape, or form to minimize the struggle that people are having with that and the financial burden and things like that. But for example, um, a lot of people that are stepping forward to volunteer to do things. Uh, people that are stepping forward, you know, a minor one that I, it's not minor, it's minor to some, not minor to truckers necessarily, but uh, seeing about, I saw on Facebook, um, the, the struggle truckers were having because restaurants weren't open and they couldn't drive their trucks through the drive through obviously. And some places at first, the drive throughs weren't, um, weren't serving them because they weren't driving through and they, they couldn't serve them. Uh, and it's been cool to see uh, the, the different uh, restaurants say, no, give us a call, we'll come out, we'll deliver food to your curb. And, and uh, the rest areas, which we're all going to be closed, and some of them are open now. And, and just things where people are stepping up, you know, because you know, we'd love to have the government do everything, but the government can't do everything. So even in the midst of this virus thing that we're going through, uh, we see good things happening as a result. And, and you kind of wonder if that stuff would happen as much uh, if it was just, uh, you know, fending for ourselves. Uh, you know, the prophet Joel says something about that because he was a prophet again during another one of those dark times in Israel's history. I keep saying that, you know, this prophet was during the dark time in Israel's history, that prophet. The reason for that is because Israel had a lot of dark times in their history. I mean, they were rebel rebellious, stubborn, sinful people. And God had to keep pulling them back with the, the, the um, prophets. Joel says this, he says, don't be afraid of land. Be glad now, rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. And what he's really saying is this. He's saying, take a look back. Yeah, things are tough right now, and things are very dark right now. But look at what God has been doing. He's been doing little things all the way along the way. And eventually, we'll see the victory. Eventually, we'll see the things happen. It might not even be this side of heaven, folks. I mean, just the reality is things could be tough until then. But as believers in Jesus Christ, we know two things. We know, first of all, he'll give us strength to get through it. We just need to trust him and realize he's in control. And the second thing is that he will will someday come back for us and we'll spend eternity with him. We can take great joy in that. So look in the rear mirror. Remember what God has done. 
Look at all the blessings that he's given you. Don't be afraid, uh, just trust his guidance because in spite of the fact that we don't know where we're going, we know uh, who's gonna take us there. Rejoice because we already know who wins. We know that we are on the winning side, that someday God will see us through all of this and we'll be victorious. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, thank you again, uh, just for the reminder that we need to look in the rearview mirror occasionally. Uh, to be reminded of the great and mighty things that you have done in our lives. I just want to thank you personally uh, for what you've done in my life. I look back and I see all the stupid side trips that I've taken and you've always brought me back and you've blessed me beyond measure and I thank you for that. I pray for any that may be struggling today with fear, with anxiety, with uh, especially with illness or the financial issues or relational issues. I just pray that they would know your love and that you would help them to be strong and courageous in whatever they're going through, realizing that uh, you are working. Uh, you work gradually. You don't work nearly as fast as I'd like, but you do work. And so I just pray that you would encourage us along those lines. We pray for those that are ill, uh, for whatever the illness is, uh, for, for our medical professionals, as we've been praying for every day that you would just strengthen them, encourage them uh, as they work to try to help us through this uh, illness and the pandemic. Uh, we pray for government leaders, emergency workers, uh, that you would just work, uh, continue to bless them and strengthen them. Pray for those people that uh, have to be out there every single day, the truckers, the farmers, uh, and others that uh, they don't get a day off because of the pandemic. They've just got to be careful. Pray that you'd help them to be careful, but also that you would protect them and just encourage them along the way as well. Hey, thank you for today, Lord Jesus, and just uh, give you all the praise and honor and glory in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Have a great day. Remember, if you know Jesus as your Savior, you're on the winning side. Be brave. Go forward. Have a great day.